Let's reframe the word algorithm. Mm. Don't listen to the gurus that say you've got to post 100 times a day. The more you become one of your people, the more they will understand you. We want it to be perceived as the authority, right? But there's nothing worse than a know it all and a Superman. If you don't like creating content for your social media, it's probably because you have no idea what type of content will attract your ideal client. And with my wife, we created a community of paying customers and we asked them, what content did you watch before becoming a paying customer? Not with these words, but you know what I mean. And we broke down exactly the five type of elements they needed to trust us and eventually buy from us. We talk about these five elements in this video, so you can do it too. We all start from social media. We want to attract our ideal client, but what do we post on social media to attract the people that we actually want to help? I know many of our friends, many of our clients, they know they need to post something on social media. And I know that might be a bit of analysis paralysis because we overthink this a million times. So we did the same. We did the same, but also because there was a one point, especially, I don't know, I think it's recently, I was so hating social media because I couldn't keep up with it. I had no idea what I was doing right, what I was doing wrong. When everyone tells you about that you need to follow the algorithm and you need to actually do certain things that you need to do, it's almost a little bit too much or that you have to post about a million times a day or a million reels. It's overwhelming and I totally get it. And especially because at the end of the day it was two of us it was it still is two of us creating the content and putting things out there lately i just went you know what that's it i'm done but there is still one specific structure that we kept in mind that we know that we need to put out there that helps us more than anything else probably doesn't help the algorithm but at least it helps me gather my thoughts around or your thoughts around and putting everything into place to actually talk to your ideal client to your people i call them your people because at the end of the day whoever is on social media they love you, they, they are there because you make them feel good, you give them good tips. And so I want you to keep these few little bits in mind whenever you're posting on social media without being overwhelmed. Let's reframe the word algorithm, mm. right? Because as Yalessa said, there's no way you can keep up with the algorithm. Just think about the audience that you want to attract. And okay. just to have a guideline for you to post stuff online, what do we post? How do we find ideas about what we can post? But what we can say is what we found over the years works really, really well. I don't want you to give you set rules. These are just main principles that you can apply to attract your ideal client. And it's based on five types of content. The first type touches upon the dreams of your ideal clients. I'm assuming you are a content creator that you want to help an audience. You are fixing a problem. And the person that you want to help want to get somewhere. That is the dream. Maybe you're already there. Maybe you are living the lifestyle that they want. Maybe you are living the financial situation that they want. Maybe you are living in the body that they want. Maybe you have the garden that they want. Maybe you are so good at cooking and they are not. Show them that. Think about how you can show them what is going to be possible for them too. This is something that you've done by just sharing the dancers' comments and to inspire people that didn't know it was possible for them. And it doesn't have to be a specific piece of content for that. It should be sprinkled around. So think about making them dream about what's possible for them. That's a dream domain. Social media, by the way, is not made for selling. And where do we sell? Via email. Yes, we've sold almost a million worth of digital products via email, and we want to share with you how we did it. There is a free Sell More Masterclass that we're hosting on the 28th of September. If you want to reserve your spot, it's free. Just click on the link below and I will see you there. Then we've got the mindset domain, which is not the only one you should use. It's one of those domains and it's all about motivating them, cheering them on because everybody's got bad days. We, we, we're not always superheroes. Not everything goes to plan and for your audience, it's exactly the same. So we discovered this quite recently because at the beginning, we didn't want to look fragile, or vulnerable because we wanted to per be perceived as the authority, right? Okay. You want it to be perceived as the authority, but there's nothing worse than a know it all and a Superman. Well, if you are Superman, you are special, I'll never be like you. We want to be more supportive of what they're going through. So keep in mind the mindset is really important 
when you're creating content. One of my favorites is the oh, third. I love this. The third domain is beliefs. I remember a story when we went to a yoga retreat. You really wanted to have a week for yourself. And so we joined this group of beautiful people, just wanting to gather into, you know, in a relaxed place in Northern Italy to do yoga every day. And among these women, there was <laughs> one specific one which completely fell in love with you, like platonically, of course, because you were a ballet dancer. You've been a professional and I remember clearly when we were going down the stairs to catch the elevator that she always wanted to dance ballet, but she didn't because she had scoliosis. Not only she had scoliosis, she was also afraid by the judgment of people because she said, I've seen those dancers, the adult dancers around and I don't know, they don't have the body, they don't have the physique. Is it really possible? I think it looks silly. I don't think it is for me. I don't think it's for adults. And I turned around and I said, well, if you're doing a yoga, what stops you from actually doing ballet? But most importantly, you said that you've got scoliosis. Did you know that I've actually done a whole career with scoliosis? There you go. Have a look at my back. And I could see, that's why I love this story so much. I could see the change in her face from I've precluded myself to step into ballet, no pun intended, <laughs> because of this problem. And I now found a ballerina that's telling me that's, that that was never a problem, it was all in my head. And she started doing ballet using our uh, YouTube channel. Isn't that amazing how something that we believe in can get us in the way of our dreams or our uh, desires? So create content to share these stories with your audience because they might just need you to tell them, hey, it's possible too. This obstacle that you have in mind is irrelevant. Tell it with stories. This is super crucial in every content you do. Tell it with stories and especially tell it with your experience because the more you become one of your people, the more they will understand you. As Jacopo was saying, if you are the superhero, the superman that has got everything perfect, that is, you never show the vulnerable side of you, they will start thinking that you're totally fake. But if you open up about your struggles and everything that you, you had to go through, they will understand you way more. Then the fourth domain for your content should be talking about the frustrations that you may have or you are having or your audience is having for the same reason we said before because nobody's perfect life is not perfect you when you started talking about your always never been always never been <laughs> the leggy dancer like yeah. You never had a perfect ballet body. You had to struggle five times more than any other dancer. People started relating to you because guess what? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's got the perfect body. And even if they did, they wouldn't listen to you. They would listen to somebody else. Just make them feel understood without judging them. Try and think of what they might be going through every day so that you can step into that conversation with your content and make them feel understood, reassured. Everything is fine. Everybody starts from a different level. And that's okay. The last domain when it comes to content, when it comes to attracting your ideal client online is to give them results in advance. Think about how-to videos, think about walk through or follow along in our cases, just make them actually achieve something. Don't just talk about it, make them achieve something. And that's as simple as that. The point of all of this is that these five big domains should always be used as ideas to start from, and then your delivery, you deal with it. Don't listen to the gurus that say, you've got to post 100 times a day. Of course that would help, but I don't have a million dollars a month to spend into, into a team <laughs> that can do that for me, repurposing, following me around, right? We are both small business owners, but we do what we can, but we want to do content that's actually useful, that will attract our ideal client, and you don't need much. The other day, I watched three reels from this guy that you suggested me, and I was hooked, and I wanted to buy his course immediately. Three reels. You don't need a million pieces of content, you might just need the perfect ones that touches the right emotional cords and you're golden. So keep it sustainable, don't kill yourself, don't overwhelm yourself, just make sure you do what feels good to you. As we mentioned, social media is not for selling and is not for you to market your products. If you want to market your products leveraging social media, there is a specific way you do it. And if you want to do it profitably, you need to watch this video because we explain exactly how to do it. If you don't like creating content because honestly, no, honestly, if we create, we can, boring and tedious, it's be, how we come from free, uh, 